Ukraine's People's Satellite wreaks havoc on Russian targets. A crowd-funded satellite has become a game-changer for Ukraine's military intelligence, enabling the destruction of thousands of Russian military targets, Politico reports. The micro-satellite purchased by the Finnish company ICI has allowed Ukrainian forces to monitor Russian troops' movements, logistics and equipment. The results are just over the moon. Ukrainian military intelligence stated in a report, the satellite's acquisition stems from a unique fundraising effort. Serhi Praitula, a former TV presenter whose charity foundation spearheaded the initiative, told Politico, thanks to the People's Satellite, our military managed to destroy thousands of military targets, including the Rostov-on-Don submarine and the Minsk large landing ship, to name a few. It paid itself off dozens of times. The fundraising campaign initially aimed to purchase Bayraktar drones. However, when the manufacturer donated the drones instead, the $2 million raised was redirected toward acquiring the satellite and access to ICI's database. Praetula emphasized the unprecedented nature of this civilian contribution to national defense, stating, I don't remember any case when civil society bought a satellite for defense intelligence of its country, and Ukrainians are the ones who did it. The satellite's synthetic aperture radar technology allows for detailed imagery regardless of weather conditions or time of day. HUR reports that the People's Satellite has enabled them to capture over 4,700 images of Russian military objects, including airfields, air defense positions and fuel depots. Politico notes that approximately 38% of the data obtained through ICI has been used to plan attacks on Russian positions. The article also explores the broader implications of private satellites in modern warfare. CEO of Planet, Another satellite company, William Marshall, told Politico, the defense and security applications are very large. He explained how their technology could be used to assess ground conditions for planning tank routes. Hurricane Barrel strengthened to Category 5 status after it ripped doors, windows and roofs off homes across the Barbados, southeastern Caribbean with devastating winds and storm surge fueled by the Atlantic's record warmth. This hurricane brought devastation to the Windward Islands, where at least one person is dead. Its intensity also marks just the second time an Atlantic hurricane has reached Category 5 status in July after Emily did so on July 17, 2005, according to the National Hurricane Center. Fluctuations in strength are likely during the next day or so, but Beryl is expected to still be near major hurricane intensity as it moves into the Central Caribbean and passes near Jamaica, the National Hurricane Center said. Beryl made landfall on the island of Cariaco in Grenada as the earliest category for storm in the Atlantic, then the National Hurricane Center in Miami said its winds had increased to Category 5 strength. Fluctuations in strength, and later a significant weakening, were forecast as the storm pushes further into the Caribbean in the coming days. In Grenada, about 95% of the island has lost power due to Hurricane Beryl, Nila Etienne, press secretary for the office of the Prime Minister, told CNN. Telecommunications across Grenada are down, and some individuals have lost internet service, Etienne explained. All schools and business are closed, including the airport, the secretary said, adding only hospitals and the National Police Force are currently operational. The airport reported a sustained wind speed of 92 miles per hour and a gust of 121 miles per hour, according to the National Hurricane Center. Beryl's arrival marks an exceptionally early start to the Atlantic hurricane season.